questions down below. Do you want the album to be viewable by everyone, only me, or do you want to password protect it? And if you're going to be allowing people to download from this site, I highly recommend password protecting it. We used to have a ton of different passwords, but recently I've been just adding very specific um, passwords that we use consistently. But let's go into edit new just to show you how that works. And I'm going to create one and call it aperture. And the password will be three. <laughs> And now that's set as the username and password. The next option is downloading of the images. And this is where this tool becomes really powerful because you can actually use MobileMe as your delivery engine to send high-res files over to um, any of the locations so that they can use them for the web or for printing or anything like that. So I'm gonna select download of optimized images. And if you don't want people to be able to download from the site, make sure you remove that checkbox. Um, the other options are allowing other people to upload to the site. Great if you're sharing and you want you know, multiple photographers to be added to the site, you can turn that on. We're gonna leave it off because we don't need that. And um, there's also an option here to hide the album on my gallery homepage. You will have a mobile me homepage and all of your galleries will show up there. So depending on what it is that you're publishing, you may or may not want that to be visible on the gallery homepage. Uh, so I'm gonna turn it off for now. And you also have the option to show either the version name or the caption name or don't show anything. I prefer to show the version name, it just makes communication a little bit easier between the client and myself. However, if I had the names on the file is something really specific or unusual, um, this would be a really easy way to hide that. And actually, let me show it on the gallery homepage so I can show you that in a second. And then I'm gonna hit publish. So a couple of things happen when you hit publish. You'll notice right away that the MobileMe gallery will create its own section and there'll be a bunch of galleries underneath that as you start to build and create those galleries. And I want you to think about that when you're deciding what the names of the galleries are gonna be. Uh, just because you're gonna end up with a bunch of different mobile me galleries in there and you're gonna to start to wonder what they are and maybe wanna keep them organized. So definitely think about that when you're naming the mobile me galleries. All right, let's take a look at the mobile me gallery and some of the other options. Okay, so here we are in the mobile me album and most of the options that you're gonna be using are gonna be down here in the bottom right. And if you use this drop down, you can see a few things. You've got settings, which we were just in, but you can always go in and change those settings. And the second one down is visit mobile me album. So let's go take a look at the mobile me gallery that we created. I'm gonna switch over to Safari and take a look at it here. So here are some of the images in a similar mobile me gallery. And there are a few options here for whoever is looking at this gallery or receiving the, the gallery. They can see a thumbnail view. Um, they can also double click and see the individual images. They can click through and see a mosaic, which is beautiful. Also a carousel version is an option for their viewing or a slideshow. They can also change the background colors to gray or a lighter gray or a white. They can change the size of the image if they're on grid, they can make them larger. So there's just